Hello again and it's time for another project. Today we're going to do some routing out work plus a little scroll work and we're going to throw some resin in for good measure. The idea we're going to draw around this, we've got our template. So this is the way I do it. Literally put your carbon paper, graphite paper underneath and draw around it. I've actually used a pen on this one so I can see the line where I was going. Once you've drawn around it all, it'll leave you a nice image underneath like that. The good thing about this way, we can use that template over and over again without having to print any more off. So we'll keep that to one side in case we need it another day. Literally onto a bit of scrap wood. This was recycled from a previous wardrobe. Pine. I'm going to leave it big like this for now, just to allow my router some more room to move on as we go around. But once it's all routed out, then we'll literally cut it out with a scroll saw. And all the routed out areas will fill in with nice red resin. Once we've decided to paint this around white, or we might just leave it wood yet. We'll see how it sands up. Okay, the bits as always for me, these little CNC bits I'm going to use to do all my outline I love these I use them on all my projects they do come with a small shaft a 3.175 mil I believe that's the same size as the Dremel shaft so we will require should I say a collet like that and that's literally a sleeve that fits over there that's now a quarter of an inch and that will fit your router if you've got a quarter an inch router, some are half inch, some are eight mil. They do vary from router to router. So make sure you get the right collet to suit your machine. Once we've popped this in the router, we'll literally go around all the penciled areas, the carbon area, to a depth that we're happy with. Once that's all done, I'll put on one of these mill end bits. I actually ordered these by mistake, but they are brilliant for clearing out. And we'll go inside there and it just it'll clear this out no problem whatsoever. They do come in the right small one. That that broke the first time I used it, it's like a pinhead. Even smaller than that one. Okay, we've got all our bits ready. We've drawn our template out. Let's start and do some routing. Right, you can see from that, we've gone all around all our pencil lines of all the bits that we're going to take out. We've had no problems, everything's still intact, which is a good sign. The good thing about doing this with your CNC bits is separating the chunky stuff to the stuff you're going to leave in. Especially delicate areas around here, where if you came straight in with a big bit, one of them leaves will quite happily just fly off, no problem. So we've gone all the way around. No issues. Now we're going to remove the CNC bit and put in these are called mill end bits. I got these by mistake, but they are good for clear out. These are all available on eBay or Amazon. Literally the same collet, and we're just going to slot that one here like so. And now we're going to set it to the same depth by using one of these areas that we've already took out. And we're just going to clear all this out. This will fly out with these, no problem whatsoever. Let's pop this in the router, router, and start removing the shaded out areas. Always shade out what you want to take out, because if you're not thinking, we'll come back and we'll start removing this section on the outer edge. We want that leaving. It's a shaded bit, so always shade in the areas you want to remove.
Right, we've gone all the way around with our mill end bit. That's cleaned out really nice. No problem with that. As you can see. Now you could leave this like this on the wood backing and literally just draw a line across it and the top and cut it off. But I'm going to cut round this one just to follow the pencil line here with the scroll saw and do away with that background completely. And then we'll paint it all white and then we'll pop in our red resin really to make it pop out, hopefully. I'd rather use a router all day long. The scroll saw is my issue. So I tend to keep away from the line and I'd rather sand it down afterwards. But give it a go, you never know. Okay, let's get the scroll saw set up and we'll cut this one out. Well, we made it round without any mishaps. I find it's harder to do than the routing out, but I made it. Just little bits of sanding down, you can see round there. This was done with a spiral blade as well, so that's another achievement for me, because I'm quite new to the spiral blade. And they're not the easiest things to handle. But I made it in one piece. Came a bit close over here. But we got away with it. Just recycled wood, remember. This was a wardrobe to start off with. Right, just a general tidy up now. Nice sanding down. Just one trip. Just, just be hand like so. Just get the uh, sides sorted. And then we'll get the white paint on. And then we'll go on to the resin side of things. Right, you can see from that, I've sanded it down as much as I'm prepared to go. Now we're going to put some white paint on. Spray paint would certainly be easier. But of course, I won't ever need spray paint. So I'm going to stick to my trusted painter's touch. Any white paint to do. we will be happy with. And it's literally just going to be a case of coating this twice, I would say. Personally, I like the wood. I would have left the wood and put the uh, resin in between. I mean, you can put red paint in here, no problem. But we're going to use a bit of resin today. However, because it is a liver bird, it's red and white for Liverpool. So we're going to have to go with the red and white. So painter's touch. That's just literally a case of putting it on like so. We'll go around it all like this, all the sides and everything, and I'll come back when this is all nicely dry. Right, that's the painting all done. A couple of coats of white on that. It's all nicely dry, all the sides. I don't like painting all the wood, to be honest, but it's just one of them projects where... The red and white have got to go together. So there's nothing we can do about it. Hopefully when we put all the red resin in, inside all these routed out areas, the effect will be worth painting it all white. Now you could make a nice little stand for this. Have it freestanding like that. 
I eventually will just put a slit in the back, routed out slit, and this little lightweight thing will happily hang on a pin nail on the wall, no problem. Okay, let's go and mix some resin and we'll start filling this live bird in. Okay, resin time. I like to use amazing clear cast resin. Now it comes in two parts A, be your resin, B, being your adner. And you basically mix these together by volume. When I say by volume, it's literally half an inch in one cup, an inch, two inches, whatever you're mixing, same half an inch in B. Mix the two together, you're good to go. Simple as that. No scales involved, no weighing, no fancy percentages of this and that. So an inch of A, inch of B, mix the two together, follow the instructions on the packaging and you're good to go. Colour wise, buy little kits like this, really cheap stuff to buy and they work fantastic. We're also going for the red today. So we'll mix our red in and we really want it to stand out against that white. Okay, I'll mix this off camera because it's just standard boring stuff. You pour some of this into a cup, you pour this, some of this into a cup, mix the two together and that's it. I get these plastic party beakers, cost next to nothing. And I also get the party plastic knife and forks that come with them. They're ideal for mixing and these have a little scoop on the back. So if you've got delicate areas like this, we can put it in gently with the fork. Okay, I'll mix my resin up and then we'll come back when we're ready to fill this one in. Okay, we've mixed our resin up. How much resin you mix, I have no idea. It's just pure guesswork for me. The good thing about the amazing clear cast, you could mix half an inch at a time, an inch. So if you're sure, you can just mix a little bit more instead of mixing a big beaker full and wasting it. I also have little side projects going, little moulds that I'm making, just to use up what's left. Okay, this colour. You can get inks, dyes, powders, whatever suits you. Now we want it to be fairly dark, but a little bit does go a long way. So I want to go with four drops for now, and then we know if we need to... Two, three, four. So literally four drops. So we need to mix a little bit more. We can get the same kind of coloration. And you can see straight away, look how, how red that's gone. Like so. I'm just hoping I've got enough in here. Because we're not going very deep. It's quite a shallow piece, is this? So we might get lucky and get this in one. So that's nicely mixed up now. So now it's just a case of basically filling this one in. Big areas you can pour straight out if you want to. Get a little cocktail stick and help feed it along. So I'll start filling this in. Like so, and then we just help it along with the spoon. Once it makes contact with the sides, it'll stick there nicely. And we're basically just going to go all the way around like that until it's filled in. Right, you get the general idea. I'll come back when it's all, all filled.
Okay, that's all filled in nicely. For the actual shape of it, I didn't do too bad. There's a little, little bit left in there. So that's not a bad little guess, to be honest. Right, that's all in now. I didn't want to go right to the top, because I still want you to be able to feel the carved out areas. So now all we've got to do now is literally go over this with a lighter. And all that's going to do is release any little air bubbles that's stuck inside the resin. The heat from the lighter will bring them to the top and hopefully make it nice and clear. There is pressure pots and that you can pop these in and the pressurise and takes all the air bubbles out but I don't have one of those and I don't need one. Simple lighter. You can come back again in 5-10 minutes and just give it another little skim over. So that's all we can do for now. 24 hours I'll leave this. It says 12 to 24 depending on your temperature. So we'll put this to one side now and then we'll come back tomorrow when hopefully this little project should be finished. Right, we've come back the next day. And you can see from that, lovely shine is that. Everything's set solid. And that's it now, this little project's finished. Come out really nice, that one, I'm quite pleased with that. So there you have it, seven by 12 inch live bird with resin inlay. Thank you very much for watching.